Good afternoon. Have you ever thought about the many causes that impact your community today? Or how you could open the eyes of your own community to these causes? Our names are Riley Scarborough, Sierra Deckard, and Stacy Johnson. We are members of the Willow Springs FCCLA chapter and are competing in a level two category. Our star event falls under the chapter service project category. Our project was a pink out game that raised money for the Ozark Healthcare Cancer Foundation in West Plains, Missouri. We decided to do this project to help spread awareness and open the eyes to the people of our community who the breast cancer awareness cause. This is a local cause that affects many people's lives and many people are not aware or put much effort into supporting the cause. The last time Willow Springs High had hosted a pink out game for breast cancer awareness was in 2018. We thought it would be a great idea to bring the tradition back and make breast cancer awareness a more important cause to our community. We reached many people throughout our Pink Out project. Our target audience was mainly the members of the Ozark Healthcare Cancer Foundation, but we also wanted to help open the eyes of other people in our community and help support the breast cancer cause. We went through many struggles throughout our project, but we still maintained our main goal and accomplished our main missions. Some of our missions were being able to finish everything in a timely manner and getting everything approved by our school administrators. The main goal of our project was to raise awareness and donate our fundraising money to the Healthcare Cancer Foundation. We wanted our project to encourage individual and group involvement in helping achieve global cooperation and harmony. This purpose of FCCLA was represented through our project because we took care of a life-threatening disease with many helping hands. We strive to relate to the FCCLA's main mission and use helping hands in the community to help work together. Many helping hands took part in our event. It all started from the very beginning with our chapter's advisor pushing us to participate in a star event. We then took time management into great consideration, fully knowing that we might need to put in extra work. We ended up using all the extra time that we could get. We first decided on the project on December 4th. We then had to get our project approved by our school's leading administrator. We also had to get the game day approved by our basketball coaches. We decided to host a boys game instead of a girls game because we were hoping for a bigger turnout and to reach as many people as possible. We then chose the game against Plato for the 12th of January so we would have enough time to prepare ourselves for the fundraiser. The next thing we took into consideration was what we were going to raise some money from. We thought about asking the band for the funds from the concessions, but then we decided to create a fundraiser for the event. We decided on creating a t-shirt design to sell pink out t-shirts for our event to raise the money for the cause. Our budget for the shirts were $12 for the sizes small through XL and $14 for the 2XL. We priced the shirts at a reasonable amount so we could pay for the vinyl and the shirts and still earn enough to donate to the breast cancer awareness. We then created flyers to sell our shirts. We sent the flyers out on December 7th and collected them the following week on December 18th. We also went to our athletic director and asked Plato to participate in our event. We requested that their varsity team wore our pink out shirts as their warm-ups. Many people had forgotten about the order due date, but still wanted to order shirts. Because of this inconvenience, we sent out an all-call to the entire high school saying that they could order a last-minute t-shirt. These students had to pay for their t-shirts at a later date. We tallied all the shirts up and collected all the funds so we could then order the amount of vinyl we would need for those shirts and the amount of shirts we would we ordered extras to sell at the game for makeup for any mistakes that may take place. Once all of the orders came in, we had a total of 168, so we decided to work alongside with our entrepreneurship class and use our chapter's bare wear of vinyl to help create our t-shirts in time for the game. We had many helping hands at this time of our project. We had our chapter's advisor help print out our designs onto the vinyl. Other volunteers came in to help pick out and fill the designs and the entrepreneurship class volunteered to help press the shirts. Putting together the orders was kind of a struggle because we had to double check multiple times and make sure each and every order was completely correct. We still managed to pull everything together and accomplished our goal. At this point in time, there was one miscommunication with our cheerleading team and the sizes that we ordered were wrong. But that was an easy fix because we had to order many extras beforehand to sell at the game. We delivered all of the t-shirts on time and had no other problems. Now moving on to the actual pink out game. The night was a huge success. Many people participated in wearing their shirts and other people who had not ordered shirts still managed to wear pink for the cause. Our varsity boys basketball team, along with Plato's varsity team, wore our shirts for their warm-ups. 
We spoke at the beginning of the varsity game and explained our star event and thanked the many people who supported us throughout our project. We managed to raise $800 and still paid all of our debts. All of the money went to the Ozark Healthcare Cancer Foundation to help the breast cancer awareness cause. We feel that this star event has opened many eyes of our community and we hope people will decide to take on tradition and continue to support the breast cancer awareness cause. Public speaking and working together are just a few of the skills that we learned throughout this project. These will later impact our lives. Working together was a big skill in our project that we either know that we either had to know how to do or learn to. We had to find volunteers to help with the project or it could not have gone as smoothly as it did. We also had to take public speaking under our wing. If we would not have been able to speak to large groups or multiple people and communicate, then the project would not have reached as many people as it, as it did and be as successful. Although we had a very good turnout, we had, there were many ups and downs along the way. As mentioned before, there was a mess up with the cheerleader strip t-shirts along with the Plato JV basketball boys t-shirts. They didn't take all their shirts provided, which resulted us in having a few leftovers that we had to try and sell. In order to sell these extra shirts, we priced them at a discounted price of $5. This difficulty hurt our profit a bit, but nothing we didn't appreciate. We also struggled a bit with making the t-shirts in general. As you know, we made the shirts at our school with our Bearware Vinyl Company. Our main chapter advisor was out of school sick, so we had to rely on distant communication and cooperate volunteers. Thank you for letting us take part in your day and have a very blessed day.